there. How did you? Hello, what this is? I wasn't playing off of the recording, I swear. You, did, 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 you didn't see anything. So, hello, welcome back. I've been trying to do absolutely everything important in this game. Um, I'm, while recording it and so I thought I was I only thought I was exploring and getting a gird seed Apparently there was a hidden wall So I've been looking for this hidden wall inside a Ashina castle and I've actually found myself in a room with a with a prosthetic And I felt a little guilty so I thought I would show you guys it um, <laughs> So I'll show you how I got here. I just basically jumped down from the uh, Jinsuke Sazi uh, idol I jumped down here and there were some guys guarding it who I fought rather spectacularly slash terribly, almost died. Um, a little bit out of practice, it's been a while. Um, but I found this, I found this and I wanted to show you it. So it's Sabimaru, an ancient Kodachi short sword. It's blade mottled with a bluish rust, can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. So this was a nice surprise, I didn't know this was going to be here. I kind of just wanted a gird seed to be honest. Um, forged by the Ashina clan to revisit the inhuman evil that had invaded Ashina in times long forgotten. It was the poisonous gift of the blue rust that finally drove the spirits out. So I think this is a poison prosthetic? Uh, so we'll check that out. Uh, also there's a sugar in here. Um, but yeah, this was, um, literally here, this room here, if I can, I don't know if I can climb up there. I don't know how you're meant to get back out. <laughs> this actually led to a little shortcut. So you can um, you can open this door here and this is where we fought that general. Down there's the Ashina castle idol. So this is just in here. And all I did was jump down out of this center bit here. I'll show you, I'll show you. But I'm gonna try and find my way out, uh, hopefully without dying. These stairs go to nowhere. As I found out, I tried to go up them and alerted the world to my presence. Um, but yeah, no, don't go up there. <laughs> don't go up there. Um, I'm looking for a, okay, I did a little cheat, did a little cheat, and I was trying to find out where this hidden wall is, because I just can't understand that on about, like, jumping through the ceiling, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it's down here, but it turns out it's not down here. Um, so this is what happens when I try and do everything on recording, but also kind of try and find something, try and follow a guide. Uh, oh, I don't think I've ever, been to this patch of water. Are they treasure carp? I mean, that's lovely, that. I'll take some treasure carps. Where does this go then? Oh, we got some guards. Oh, is that another idol? Cool, I'll take it. I'll take it. Spear bros, me no likey. Let's try and take one of them down. That guy looks pretty threatening. But that guy, that guy has a hat. He just has a sword though. Definitely taking down the spear guy. Much as I love a Makiri. Ooh, thanks for the heavy coin purse, my dude. That was a nice surprise. Okay, where's this? What's this idol? Where is this? This is now, where? Old grave? I found a whole new bit? Oh God, I'm not ready for a whole new bit. Oh, well, there we go, we found old grave. <laughs> this game is so much bigger than just the one direction that you go in, it's so much. But hang on, that's those guys, right? Oh no, it's different guys. Salt. I need to get some salt. Helpful bit of eavesdropping there. Um, oh, I really want to explore this bit. I had a plan. I had a plan for this afternoon's uh, recording session, and that was to finally show Genichiro who is a boss. And I was gonna show you guys how much I've improved since then, i.e. not very much. And we would all just have a laugh at how bad I am at the game. 
But now I've found another area and I just want to explore it. But the thing is, I've been told. I've been told. I've got a couple of friends who have finished this game now. And um, they said, you pretty much, like, my main part of my main story is to beat Genichiro. And then once I beat him, I'll have a different part of the story that'll take me to a different part of the world. And I'm like, well, yeah. But I kind of want to... <laughs> Just leave Genichiro and never have to beat him. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So we'll see. I really want to explore this bit just because there could be easy mini bosses for me to get health potions with. But to be honest, last time I did Genichiro, we had three heals and we had like one attack power. Now we have three attack power, 14 vitality and, and six heals. So maybe, maybe we'll be a little better this time. I don't know. Unseen Aid's already at 13%, so how much worse can it get, right? Right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna purchase loads of Spirit Emblems. Oh, hang on a minute, 300? Maybe we're not gonna purchase loads of Spirit Emblems. I wish you could just buy as many um, gold, gold pouches as you wanted, but it seems that a lot of vendors have like a limited supply. Um, oh God, okay. Okay, let's do it, fine. Okay, okay. Let's go warm up <laughs> against Genichiro. The, the, so this is episode 14, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just uh, find out for sure. I'm the, I'm the be oh, this is actually 16. Wow, okay. 16, this game, is, this game is large and I'm very slow at it. I play these games quite methodically. I quite like going back and making sure I haven't missed anything. So that's my excuse for being on episode 16 and I still haven't beaten Genichiro, but yes, I digress. Um, oh, I kind of want to see what that new prosthetic does. And no, I'm not just making excuses. I'm not just stalling for time. I do definitely want to see what that new prosthetic is. And I'm not just trying to get out of fighting this guy who literally almost made me cry. Because um, the thing is, I went over, I was editing uh, part nine at time of me recording this. Part nine's not long up uh, on YouTube. And I've had time to realize that <laughs> I only died only only died 19 times to Genichiro but it felt like 900 it feels so much worse when you're in the heat of the moment and you've just done it again and again and again <sighs> but it's not actually been that bad it was only like an hour 19 deaths in an hour and I got to phase two a few times but um never got to phase three yes I know there's a phase three had that one spoiled for me, and now you've had it spoiled for you. Sorry, but this guy just boils my blood. And hopefully we beat him today. That would make me so happy. Um, okay, so this makes a Sabimaru. A prosthetic tool made with the blade Sabimaru, allowing for a quick series of attacks together with the sword. Costs spirit emblems to use, obviously. The blue poisonous rust on Sabimaru's blade applies poison status or an abnormality. Wielded in wars of old, the blade's blue rust was used to drive off inhuman Okami warrior women. Even now, it is likely to be effective against their descendants. Warrior women. Oh wow, you literally just press R2, 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 R2. Cool, and we can poison people. That sounds quite good. It sounds like it's especially effective against wolf women. I don't know, I don't think we've found any wolf women. We haven't really fought against many women. Um... And no upgrades we can do yet, unfortunately. I haven't. I feel like I've been finding tons of upgrade weapons, but not enough to actually upgrade anything. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna take off the loaded spear and we're gonna pop on Sabi. I still don't know what this does. Does anyone know what this does? I'm like 25 hours into this game and this is still locked. I'm assuming it's just another, like maybe one day you open up a second combat art. Maybe once we kill Genichiro, who knows? Maybe we'll get nice things. I imagine we will get very nice things because he is very hard. Um, okay, there's no better time like the present. Let's go and just have a go. I might not be very talkative because I'm gonna get PTSD fighting him again. It's been a long time, actually, since I fought him, so I've probably forgotten all of his moves. Um, but hopefully it's like riding a bike and it all just comes back to me. Hopefully. We'll see. I might need some, some positive energy in the comments. <laughs> 
but don't worry if this is an absolute disgrace I will I will cut around it for you don't worry I won't make you watch another hour's worth of fail tries although I've had some good feedback on the fail tries people like the fail tries maybe it makes you feel better about yourself like it's not just you you're not the only one struggling at this game or maybe you're finding it really easy and you you're just laughing at me struggling whatever kind of value that you find out of this playthrough I hope it is good value and I just hope you're having a lovely day because you're lovely now go easy on me please <laughs> okay so this is try number 20 let's see if we can get it in under 10 let's see if we can get to phase three <sighs> let's try Good try. Okay, good, good, good try. Good try! Okay. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. Oh, oh! Oh! Just wanted to heal! Oh my god, that bow tracking is inhuman! Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't I don't like this fight. I don't I don't like it. It's really stressful. My heart is going. I don't know how I managed to avoid that. Okay, first time ever seeing phase three. I've heard it gets pretty crazy. Not bad for a first try though. We do a lot more damage now, so this is helping. Oh, he's getting naked for me. Suddenly, lightning. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh god. <clears throat> okay. Scared. Very scared. I'm gonna die immediately. Oh god. Oh, I did try a little dodge there. Huh. 
Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, why did I dodge? I should have jumped. Don't mind me. Just a bit emotional. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, um, um, give me, <laughs> give me a second. Give me a second. <laughs> I need a moment <laughs> and a tissue. Okay, hello, I'm back. I didn't just, sometimes you just need a moment. Sometimes you just need a moment. Okay, I don't wanna, I don't wanna brag or nothing. Cause obviously I went away and got ridiculously powerful and came back. So I am very aware that, that, that I maybe easy moded this <clears throat> a little bit, but that for me, that is, that is why I'm playing this game. That is why I am putting in 110% of my soul into this playthrough is because that feeling right there of struggling on something for 19 deaths one day, feeling a little sad about it, going away, having fantastic adventures, and then coming back and the first try, first time I'd ever seen Naked Lightning Boy, just annihilating him feels so good. Feels so good, man. And I'm so glad that we could have done that together because, um, Hopefully you're getting secondhand euphoria from me right now. <laughs> if you're struggling on a boss, swear to God, you can do it. You can do it. You are good enough. And it's going to feel this good. So there you go. Keep at it. So we've earned a memory of Genichiro. That is our third ever proper boss we've defeated there. So we get a battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. As if he's almost forgotten it already. Commune with a sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. As the code dictates, the wolf swore vengeance on Genichiro Ashina. So is Genichiro now dead? I was a bit distracted. Obviously, I stabbed him a few times. Uh, oh, and also we got another skill. Blood smoke. Oh, I've seen this in the trailers. I wondered when we were going to get this. Ninjutsu technique that turns the spraying blood of a victim into smoke. Very cool for fighting a group of enemies. <laughs> Cost spirit emblems to use, fair enough. Activated after a backstab, a death blow. The smoke screen allows one to retake the element of surprise. Life or death struggle defines a shinobi for whom a kill is a source of strength. Very cool. Very cool for when we're exploring a new area, definitely. And ninjutsu techniques are powerful abilities that can only be used after performing a backstab death blow. They must be equipped in the spit uh, equipment menu and cost spirit emblems to perform. So I think that is what our locked thing that's been locked this whole time, I think that's what that's for. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, oh, he dead. He definitely dead. More cutscenes. I'm up for it. I'm up for it. Sorry, I think my mic is probably a little loud. Let me just... Let me just put that down a little bit there. I can only... I can only blame myself. I was. Putting Sekiro up as, as well. Oh, of course he's alive. Have you thought about what you've done?
そのためなら俺は人間をやめよう。はい。死人かいりか。Uh, we'll meet again, I suppose. <laughs> we will meet again. Well, there we go. Biggest play wall ever defeated, in my opinion. Um, oh, some smoke there. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. So, Genichiro, done for now. Guess we'll have to fight him again sometime. <laughs> new content, new content, new story stuff. We made it to the castle tower lookout. I've got two skill points. Um, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I was gonna start learning the temple arts because um, you could look. It looks like you get some cool stuff from going down that route. I don't really know what I was saving up for. I've got a bunch of stuff I can get to be honest. So may as well see what the temple arts unlock. <laughs> uh, woo. Improves the amount of sen obtained through enemies and improves item drop rates. That's worth getting. And then we got some more praying strikes and some more cool stuff after that. Cool, 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 cool. Increased attack power by confronting memory of Genichiro. <laughs> the battle memory of an extraordinary foe. Although distant, we fought him five minutes ago. He's, got, he's not got a good memory, <laughs> this wolf. Uh, recollection of such a memory provided sustenance for the wolf. Born a peasant, Genichiro Ashina was taken in by the Ashina after his mother's death. With his country on the brink of defeat, Genichiro took to heretical arts and mastered the lightning of Tomo. Such heresy may be the key to saving her. Saving who? His mother? He's trying to bring his mother back from the dead with lightning. I mean, defibrillators, in a way, kind of like the same thing. So now my attack power has gone up to four. That should really help. Um, good, good. Good, good. Let's see what we got. Can I talk to Emma? ようやく主の目を果たすことができましたレオに言います。主よ、一心。私は一心様に使える薬で。<笑> なりうれ助けを命じられたのだ。一心様は竜院の力を望んではおられません。故に苦労様を。足の指に逃がそうとした。はい。移動所への船。あれも無主か。その通りです。ただ私の任はこれまであなたに。I see. That just came up at the side saying Remnant Genichiro. I don't know if that was from my... Oh, here we go, Ninjutsu! So we get to equip that for free. Well, not for free. It actually costs six spirit emblems. So you can see me bleeding through those, pun intended. Um, do you have anything else to say? Lord Kuro is downstairs. <gasps> My boy. Uh, another idol. Seems a bit, bit much. <laughs> this is Kuro's room. Oh, it's lovely. I love what you've done with the place. Hello, pal. Uh, oh, oh, bit close there. Bit close. <laughs> Come for you, my lord. まいりましょう。足の歌さねばなりません。狼よ。我が血は竜院は人を死なぬようにする。そなたもそうだな。はい。はい。私はそなたを救いたかった。時を戻せたとて、きっと同じことをするだろう。だがな、死なぬというのは Oh, 
人としての生き方を歪めてしまう私は流院の不死が生むよどみの連鎖を断ち切りたい狼をそれを手伝ってはくれぬか、はい、Obey the iron code protect Kuro help Kuro I mean there's no wrong answer here right? Right? <laughs> He wants my help. Oh, the owl was like, never break your shinobi code. Okay. ありがとう、オオカミよ。I like my immortality. It's very handy. You got a little cactus. I don't know what that is. It's well cute. Oh, sorry, mate. It's destroying your bedroom. There's nothing cool in here that I can steal. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yay, magnetite. Yay, magnetite. Oh, I can't. Eavesdrop? I guess uh, Genichiro is like his uncle or something. They're of some、um, distant relation. So he must feel something towards him. A little bit sad, probably. Uh. I can't, break, I can't take up my sword. Otherwise, I would have well tried to destroy that.、Uh, what we got here? A little windy. A little windy window. It is now snowy. Was it snowy before? I don't think it was snowing before. Was it? Oh god, is my memory that bad?、Um, I think that's actually the way that we're meant to progress. Oh, hello. Hello. I know what this does. Yes. Almost missed that. Loading screen. Where is this then? This looks like the underground passage. Is she now? <gasps> no way. What? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. Okay. What? That passage was tiny. That passage was literally tiny. And we're all the way back here?、Mm. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, she just wanted me to speak to him. <clears throat> Your brow is less furrowed than before. I can't. Why won't you let me. <laughs> why won't you let me. um... Chat to you, I wanted to see if I. The divine ear, you saved him! You had my thanks. Aww. I mean. Another time then. I just, I just sat down. I just sat down. <laughs> um, Yeah, a bit disappointed. I mean, we got the increased attack power from beating Genichiro, but、oh, I just wanted another heal. I just want more heals. More heals means I can make more mistakes. So, this magically goes. I think by the loading screen, we're meant to imagine, use your imagination. Like, this tunnel is probably very long.、Um, that's probably what the loading screen is meant to symbolize that and the fact that it has to load the game. <laughs> But yes, I love a good interconnected world, so I'm not complaining in the slightest. Okay, back in Kuro's room.、Um, 
ち立ちについてだが根拠のない話ではないのだ狼よこれを Immortal Severance Text A book from Kuro on the art of severing ties with the dragon's heritage It looks old The binding is torn and there are several pages missing Herein describes the means to perform the rite of immortal severance. Beyond the Fountainhead Palace, locate the sanctuary and imbibe the tears of the holy dragon of the divine realm. Ah, sounds pretty simple. Sacred dragon tears. Simple. オオカミよ。そこにある香炉を見てくれ。オンザテーブル。とあるお方がお持ちだったものだ。あ、それ<笑><笑> 別の竜院の巫女が暮らされていたと聞く。巫女の名はタケル様。この香炉はその方にゆかりのものだ。その方は今は亡くなられて久しいようだ。What's ironic? He died. Okay, Fountainhead, I guess that's maybe the next area. The scent of the Fountainhead, so apparently it smells. Um, okay, okay. I understand. Okay. Okay. Oh, just go talk to Ishin, you know, like the legendary ancient warrior whose grandson we just murdered. Although he came back to life, so it's not murder if they come back to life, right? Come with me. I'll show you this window that I found already, my bad. Ishin-sama <laughs> No. <laughs> Not the night jar. <laughs> okay. Okay, so new task. Very interesting. The story continues, which is exciting because I haven't done much story in a while. <laughs> Since getting stopped by the the wall that is Genichiro. Uh, so you're meant to follow the smoke signals. We're back out here. I've done I've pretty much explored this whole area. He's recuperating in one of the watchtowers. <laughs> so Ah, oh, well one that shiny over there. I couldn't figure out how to get it. There's guys over there. Very aware there could be spooky men here. 
Hiding around the corner. Yeah, I have been here. I have been here. Uh, hello. Uh, is she in here? Nice to meet you, sir. I've heard a lot about you. You're something of a legend. You will drink the sake with me. Okay. Uh, a bottle of cloudy, unrefined sake given to us by Ishin. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. So he wants me to have one so he can have one. Trickster. This cloudy sake is one of Ishin Ashina's favorites. It has a rich, full-bodied flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. <laughs> You're welcome. の絵にしては<笑> Ah, do you guys remember the old um, sort of ninja guy we found shortly after killing Gyobu? Masataka Gyobu, is that right? Is he Masataka? Um, who was like, kill the rats for me. Uh, and then he gave us the name Sekiro, because we are a one armed wolf. And he's like, I will call you Sekiro. Uh, it turns out that was Ishinashina all along. It's really cool. It's really cool. Um, okay, so we can give him a drink. <laughs> Are we going to ask about immortal severance? The infested? From Senpu Temple? Where can I find the mortal blade then? They're playing with centipedes, that's what they're doing. It'd be cool if Sekiro had a, a voice line that unlocked if you'd been to Senpu Temple like we have before this conversation it'd be cool if there was a voice line where he could just go yeah i've been there i didn't see anything <laughs> because we did it fully exp well fully explore senpo temple and um i hit something of a wall where i couldn't really there was nowhere to go so um i'm assuming something has now opened up to us treat to unrefined sake here you go pal Ah. 
<laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> he gave it to me and I'm like, I don't drink, mate. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> oh, I cried. Twice. なかなかに面白かったであろう。<笑> I think we have just learned about my new wife. <laughs> uh, okay, so we gotta go find the mortal blade. かかるものの願いやら企てやらがうずを巻き寄り迷えばその渦に飲まれ戦に破れるそうじゃ君に命じておくがいい赤色よ迷えば破れるぞ I mean it'll probably come down to if you want to sever the dragon's heritage, it'll be like, oh, you have to kill Kuro. Or it'll be like, oh, you have to kill yourself with the mortal blade. Or it won't work. It'll be, this is, this has got a sad ending, like. Just, it looks like a chest. No! Um, yeah, a bit disappointed at the lack of, um, prayer bead or, um, uh, gourd seed from Genichiro, but maybe I've missed it. I hope I haven't missed it. But maybe if you guys know, you can let me know. That would be much appreciated. I still have missed one in... <gasps> in, um... Senpo Temple. Oh, I'm here! I know where this is! I've been here! I've been there. I've been here. I've been here. I should have done the, the spray thing. I've been here. Where does this go again? I found this place when I was trying to find the hidden wall. Oh, hi! <laughs> and this leads around here. Oh, cool, now I can show you, now I can explain myself what I was talking about at the beginning of this episode. So if we just go here and rest here. If you're curious where I found that poison prosthetic, it was just down here. So from the dojo, that's where we fought Sazi. Um, there are, there are some nerds here which I'm just going to run by um, because I think there's too many. Hang on, let's try this. Oh, that's cool. You can take advantage of the, the confusion. I love that. That's awesome. Now they're coming. They're coming, right? I'm going to get... This is where I get out of here. So you get to this room and I just literally just jumped down and there's all these guys here and then I went through there. And that is where you, um, that is where you find the prosthetic. So I never thought to jump down, but yeah, it was just in here, wasn't it? So there should be an idol out here, which I'm just gonna use to get back up again. Just here, right here. Still no idea where this hidden wall is. Um, upper tower antechamber idol. See, I don't think I have that.
Do I? Oh, I do. Oh, I do. I was looking in the complete wrong place. Cool, right, we'll find this together. Apparently there is a, pr a prayer bead in here. We're, we're, like, free prayer bead. Yeah, we're getting that. Um, but yeah, I must have completely missed this. So where's, where is this again? Ah, yes, so we got here by jumping through the window. Fab. Um, so, right, we're looking for a room where we can jump up through the ceiling. <gasps> oh no. Oh no! <laughs> stealthy, Reiji. Stealthy, stealth. Got a little lag there. Uh, okay, and there's a few of these in here. Oh, this is this room. So we, we just jumped down. I wonder if it's just a case of me needing to grapple. Here. Is this it? Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't know why I grappled. Can I get back up? Oh, come on. Um, right. Okay, so this isn't it. This isn't it. I'm looking for... Uh, jump up through the ceiling. Through the ceiling? I've got no idea. No idea. But when we get stuck, at least we have one of these. Uh, last commune, please. Yeah, this is quite... God, I'll find a video on it. I'll find a video on it or something. Can't be bothered. We're heading back to Sanpo. Sanpo Temple. Even if we do find this one prayer bead, we still need another two before we can uh, do anything with it. So I'll... Oh. <gasps> Sekiro. Uh, why? Cannot ver... Excuse me, one moment. And we're back, sorry about that. I think my PS4 just briefly lost connection to the internet, that's probably why, because I've got a digital copy of this, so that's, <laughs> that's another reason why I don't really like buying digital copies of games. I didn't buy this, it was for free, because I'm a legend, and I reviewed the game. Um, yes, so what was I saying? Yes, so even if we do get this one pair of bead, we need two more anyway, so. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do is I am gonna do a thing. We're gonna go back to Senpo Temple and we are going to explore a little bit from the beginning because I don't really remember the beginning of Senpo that well. And I'm wondering if whatever it is that's opened up to me is see if it's at the beginning and I go running around the end trying to find it bit annoying, bit annoying. I'm not even sure what could have possibly opened up through just Ishin saying that I have to go there. So yeah, if you've never been to Senpo Temple, uh, we came here a few episodes ago. You get here by traveling through the underground, the underground passageway, isn't it? Underground something. <laughs> um, and you get here taking a wee lift up and then a voice sort of stops you right here and it goes, are you sure that's what you want to do? Are you sure you want to go through here? The monks, they are playing with powers out of their control. Oh yeah, this guy's ill because I've been dying so much. Oh, I'm sorry, Kotaru, no, I'm sorry. Right, so he wants a pure white flower. Uh, which I was trying to figure out where that is. Apparently it is here somewhere. So I'll have a wee look and see if I can find it. Um, there are some other things that some other people want. We have a woman who says we have to find a fresh fruit and a dry fruit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and also another woman who was asking for rice. Now, I have since found some rice, but I don't know if it's the right kind of rice. And also I can't really remember where she is. So I'm <laughs> gonna 
hopefully come across her. I think she's, I wanna say, I have it in, I have the picture in my head of where she is. She's kinda like around the right side of a building. But I'll need to, I never really remember these areas in these games much the first time around. I tend to need to go through a second time, which is why we're just doing it now. Um, but yeah, you can actually farm these monks for experience quite well. I found them to be quite a good source of, um, of experience points if you are. Let's do a spray. Let's do a spray. No one's even bothered. No one's even bothered. I've used six spirit emblems and no one's even bothered. Really? Nobody cares about little old Sekiro. <clears throat> yeah, like I say, good good way of, <laughs> of earning some experience because literally they just don't give a butt. Oh, this guy cares. This guy cares. Oh, I think we've got friends as well though, who also care. They care! <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna take that over there, why not? I'm gonna take that. Yeah, they're aware, but they haven't seen me. They're looking for me. Yeah, you just leave the confines, the safety. You just leave your friend all alone to die. Cool. Cool. And then I believe there's a thing. There we go. There we go. Can I? I remember this all now. And then you can kill these things. They give 30 experience each. And they like literally do nothing. I think they do hit you like a tiny little bit. Oh, 15, sorry, my mistake, 15 each. But still, free XP. You wanna just grind some bugs. And I think they like permanently respawn as well because they get spewed out of the mouth of this thing in the next room. Uh, I'm sorry, I won't take too long going through here because we have done this area uh, already. Uh, you can leave them, they're, they're not too bothered about you if you just sort of go around here. Um, there is a big guy behind there. Do you recommend killing them because, you know, you get good things. Are you the one with the fruit? Yeah, the fruits of the serpent. One is fresh, the other is dried. The fresh one's over there. Over the cliff, that's where you'll find it. Rice! Bless me with rice! Oh, okay. I don't have rice, apparently. I thought I had rice. I thought we found some rice. Um, do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. I found a red and white pinwheel. Everyone is right here. But I need to find a pure white one. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I thought I found some rice. Look at all my necklaces. Look at them all. There's my remnants. Oh, that's what I see. You get a remnant after you use a memory. I see. There's my rot essences. Uh, oh, I guess we didn't find a... Phantom kunai. Upgrade materials. Uh, anyway. And then that's the prosthetics. I saw we found some way around. Did I not find some rice? I thought we had some rice. Hmm. I thought I found rice. <laughs> okay, well there she is at least. Now I can remember where she is. Huh? Right hand side of a building, what did I say? Um. So now we can uh, just refresh what this is all about. Ah yes, that's that bridge where we fought the armoured soldier. Armoured warrior? And if we want to get over the other side of that bridge, we need to go all the way around. Uh, you can't just go this way. So what we'll do, I think, is we'll go round to the... the round to the grapple point. Oh, there's a dude bro there. There's a dude bro there. I don't know if I can... Ah, uh, nah. No, no, no! That couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> uh, and he's still aggroed. Perfect. Right. I think we'll just um, we'll just ignore him because I think we're looking for a grapple down. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have fell on you. Hang on. Is the grapple not here? There we go. Cool. Cool. 
Kill, 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 kill. Right, and then we have this mountainside. And another idol. So this is where you get to the Shugendo idol. Okay. Still getting to know them. And I want to say, I don't know if we went over there. I didn't. Perfect. <gasps> <laughs> Perfect. There's a ah, there's a vendor. Ceramic shard. Yay. There is a vendor. It's the memorial mob. What do you what do you sell, babe? What do you sell? Persimmons, fruit, uh, dragon's blood droplet, which I probably should use. <gasps> rice. Too. This rice is not edible. It's a gourd. Oh, a gourd with five colored rice used by shinobi as landmarks intended to be spread on the ground as recognizable patterns. The white gourd is blessed with fertility. Spread on the ground in patterns. I mean, I want it because it's a thing and I need it. Oh, and he sells scrap magnetite. <gasps> yes, let's get that. Um, and 1600. I mean, I don't know what it does. Uses zero out of five. I don't know if that is the rice that we have to bless this lady with, but 1600 is a big investment. I'm just gonna bank these for now. But good to know that he sells that. Anything else of note around here? That's cool, I would've missed this guy. I had a feeling we didn't explore this area very well. <gasps> That's down there, I see. I see. I love it. I love it. Love a big interconnected world as long as it makes sense. None of this, none of this uh, two foot passageway that suddenly takes you halfway across the world. None of that. Although like I say, actually, 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 there was a loading screen which implies the passage of time. Uh, ooh, okay, we can go up or we can go down. Well, I'm always up for going up, I suppose. Down is appealing to me though. Oh god! What can we see down here then? I'm looking for like cracks in the wall or anything like that. No, but there's literally no point to this tree. Fab. <laughs> I guess that's just if you fall. It must just be in case you fall. So we have a tree up there. I'm not gonna be able to get that, I don't think. Tree up there. Um, that just, that path just goes around there, I think. There's a rat up here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's two of them. Just gonna jump down here. Oh, oh, you can see through the, oh. Ooh. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so this does go around here. All right, let's have you. Where's the other one? Where's your friend? Where's your friend? Right, well, there's one of your friends. Did you kick me? Denying me of my death blow. Oh. Can I please just... Can you not have like infinite tracking please? Die! <laughs> Woof, they're deceivingly strong, I think. It's really easy to underestimate them because they're so small. I think this is where we found the red and blue pinwheel. I think that's what that little bag was. Is that a bag over there? Oh, cool. So I have not been over there. How do we get over there? Hmm. Ah. There we go. Oh, snap. There we go. <laughs> it's 
still working on my deflect timing. That's the most satisfying thing about this game for me is is uh, getting better and better at deflecting. All right, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the jump. Oh my god! Grab it! Grab it! Yeah! <laughs> I was close. I think I just need to spam the square button. <clears throat> There we go. Okay, we good. We good. I got it. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, and then we'll drop down here. <gasps> right. What do we have here? Hello. Have you coin purse? Worth? Worth worth? And then we you know any way of going? Aha! Uh -huh. I was spamming it! I was I pressed it three times, depending how loud your volume is up. You may have heard me literally press that button three times. Spam it! Okay. <laughs> My despair. Ooh, and then we go up here. And then we'll go up here. Should probably heal in case I fall. I re I think it's very, very generous that they let you. Like, they don't kill you after a fall. They just take a bit of health off you. Ah! Oh. Don't. Do that to me! Don't do that to me! Oh my god. This game. This game. Oh look, we can go we can go up here. We can go up here. Oh heck. Oh yeah. I don't remember fighting this before. This might be the new bit. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Ooh! <gasps> Wait, Pedro! <gasps> Yes, this is for the, the the monk guy who wanted a white pinwheel. Fab, so we'll take that back to him. <sighs> My heart, it's going. It goes doki doki. <clears throat> All right, so anything, no. Oh, <gasps> lizards, they're the devil. They're so scary. They literally die in one hit. So much poison damage, jeez. I don't think poison is as scary in this game as it is in other games. It's um, oh maybe not. I could be wrong. It's quite scary, isn't it? Uh, which way? Which way do I go? Too many ways. Too little time. So where can we go from here? Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah. What's the point in this tree? <laughs> What's the point in this tree? Dunno. Oh, hello. Oh God, the gift that. The gift that just keeps on giving. That just literally winds around here. Didn't miss any shiny sound there, no. Oh, there's a lizard. Must kill all lizards, you know, revenge and all that. Blech. Okay, let's see what's in this room. Oh, we have an open room and a closed room. Let's go in the open room first. So we have a heavy coin purse, and then something that this lassie's monkey booze! <laughs> Alcohol created by dew pulled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake, with a bit of luck. While it is known for its brutally harsh flavour, some find this acquired taste ir irresistible. So who would like a monkey booze? So we've found two alcoholics, and that so far has been the sculptor and uh, now Ashin. So hopefully one of them wants some monkey booze. <laughs> what a name. Is this a shortcut? I mean, I don't see any need for this to be a whoop. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Centipedes. That's Gostan. What do we have here? Black gunpowder. Nice, nice. Uh. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. What do we have in darkness? <laughs> what do we have in here? Another underground passageway. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. This is like where we found the guy. Oh, by the way, whatever happened to that guy? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, there's a headless in there. <laughs> I just couldn't see him, but I saw his health bar. Uh, Shinobi escape route leads to Demon Bell. 
No, it doesn't. It leads to... This leads to demon... Oh. Right, let's have a wait. Let's just see if we can sneak up on him a little bit. See what the room is like. Because I didn't even see him. To be honest, I don't know how he saw me being headless and all. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't like. Don't like. Don't. There he is! Run away! I don't know if there's anything... That That's surely a dead end, that room. But then we did find two ways into the... Oh no, that wasn't the headless. That was the warrior. Okay, so we know there's a headless in there. When I get brave and we have lots of divine confetti and lots of uh, terror, terror stuff, we can go in there. Um, up here, <gasps> da -da -da -da. another idol. This is the, oh, Bell Demon's Temple. Okay, so Josh, my friend Josh was on about a demon bell. I guess this is it here. Do not ring this bell. Hmm. <laughs> uh, inviting misfortune is an act of virtue, but only the stoutest of hearts should ever consider it. So uh, Josh has already told me what this does. It makes uh, it makes the game harder. It makes enemies harder. So I'm not going to be ringing this just yet. Maybe we'll do a demon bell playthrough when I get good. Um, but that's where you find. I'm assuming you get like more experience or something. Like enemies are harder, but you get more experience. Um, so, hopefully, have we been over there? I don't know if I've been over there. Oh, maybe that's where I found the pinwheel. <laughs> Actually. Uh, oh yes, of course, and there's the armoured warriors fight. Got you. Okay, so that's the bell. I don't see any other way sort of out of here. I think there's an idol here because you're meant to teleport. I kind of want to see if there is a path behind Headless. Bear in mind, it's probably going to get me killed, but at least we found an idol. At least we found an idol and I don't have any money to lose. I don't know what we have skill experience wise to lose. Let's have a look. Nah, not much. We're fine. We're fine. So let's just go take a look and see what's at the back of his room. See if there's another way out. Uh, ooh. Oh, there is. Oh, cool. Okay. So I've got two directions we can go. Let's go right first. Where does this lead? <laughs> I like a good optional boss. <laughs> oh. Is this where is this it's so snowy <laughs> nah don't know where this is um we can't go anywhere from here oh it looks like you can get here from somewhere by swinging off this tree but you can't get anywhere from this direction okay so other way let's see what's the other way Headless, no thank you. <laughs> you are so scary. It wouldn't bother me so much if it didn't need so many items to even fight it. Oh, hang on. This is... This is uh, near the start of the game, right? This is where I found the headless the first time. <gasps> that is the... The, okay, so I thought there was three. There's actually only two. So we found one in the hidden forest, and then this is the one. Yes, all right. This is a Sheena um, outskirts, outskirts reservoir. I mean, oh god, it's hard to remember sometimes because they all, they all sound the same, don't they? A Sheena this, a Sheena that, a Sheena depths. Um, but right, so that joins on to that, and. Uh, the other way joins on to that. Okay, so we haven't really found any way of progressing this way, but we have sort of found another way that the world sort of connects, which is really cool. 
Um, so, thumbs up. Um, back to Sampu Temple though, I guess. Oh, oh, let's go give the pinwheel to the, the baby dude. I have a dragon's tear, I believe. So if we need to heal him up, then we can do so. Um, may as well get our unseen aid back. But um, yeah, cool, we'll do that. So this, this was just a little side area that I missed. That's cool. Maybe it will be, was it showing it? No, it was the, yeah, he's here. He's at Sempre Temple, yeah. Maybe, maybe he'll give us something good. That would be great. Maybe he'll give us a gird seed or a prayer bead or a, I don't know. <laughs> maybe he'll give us some rice. <laughs> Who knows? Or maybe just a bunch of sen. Maybe he'll give us a bulging coin purse, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so it looks like we need to heal him before we can give him nice things. That was a good jump, that. No, I don't want to brag or nothing, but that was a good jump. Right, dragon rot restoration. Don't eat the dragon's tear like I did one time. Don't do that. Take it to an idol. <laughs> it's a waste of money, and they're very limited to buy as well. I haven't yet found somewhere that you can buy unlimited of them. Only one. <coughs> they left me all alone. I want a pure white flower. Here's a pure white. I love how it gives you the option to give him the red and white one. I'm not going to do it, but he probably goes, oh, that's not the right one. But I don't want to screw this up, so I'll give him the white one. Oh, <laughs> みんな、みんなはオチの巫女様たち。そうか。俺らは真っ白い風車を取ろうとした。I mean, I don't know if you'd make that jump, mate. この車をなあ、あんた。一つ頼みがあるんだ。なあ。俺らを神隠ししちゃくれないかい。なんだと。俺ら実は知ってるんだ。あんたは忍びなんだろう。王様たちが言っていた。死は神隠しができるって。何故それを望む。神隠しした先にきっと皆がいる。皆のもとに行かねばなんねえ。何せ Oh no, I have to refuse all the children. I don't know what he's talking about. So, Moshi, Kiga Kawatara, Tanomuna. Okay, so it looks like there is another part to his quest where we decide to help him, but. Maybe once we find a room of children and they're all dead. Um, who knows, but there we go. I don't, we haven't really learned much there. <laughs> the rejuvenating waters is something that keeps coming up. So that's interesting. Um, so Senpu, Senpu, Senpu. Senpai, Senpu. Uh, we made it as far as the kind of temple grounds. We went exploring off Shigendu, that's right. That's right, we went exploring, we found the memorial mob, we found the pure white pinwheel, we found a shortcut through from Headless through to back to Ashina Reservoir, uh, which is really cool. Really, really cool. Uh-oh. Uh oh, hi! <laughs> it does so much damage, heck! Um, yeah, okay, there's where I jumped down. So instead of jumping down, we go this way. We go up here instead. And I believe this is the, cr this is the correct way to go. Uh, 
Okay, cool. Now we're back here. <gasps> this is where you fight the armored warrior. This is where I f found the red and white pinwheel. Yes. Okay. Getting to know this game. This is a game I'm going to play several times, so... I like to know where I've been, where I'm going. This fight was really cool. Accidentally killed him. Second try. First try was right off because I had, like, no heals. I didn't know it was a boss fight. Um... And had no idea what was going on, so... Second try. First real try. Ooh. Beat Lady Butterfly. F uh, first real try as well. Just, just, just saying. Just saying. Uh, and then, of course, there was two carp in there. I thought they respawned, but can confirm treasure carp don't respawn. Which is a shame. Uh, ah, yes. Okay, I remember now. I know this area better than I thought I knew it. So we went around here. I wonder if I can reach that. Yes. Okay, there's actually a way you can go. Ooh. Ooh. Running. Running now. <laughs> there is actually a way you can go up from this building here. That building, is this the one with the mini boss in it? Uh, I believe so. This had one armed centipede sen un in it. One armed? Long armed. Long armed centipede sen un. Um, I have found out through friend spoilers that there is another centipede boss, but haven't found him, so maybe we'll find him soon. Because his name's Giraffe. And I'm like, okay, long-necked centipede giraffe. How do we get in here again? There we go. Sneaky cheeky. Round the back. Na 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 na. And we go around here on the roof. And then if you go around here, aha, you can just jump up here. Speed runners. Ooh. I don't think I explored over here. Which way are you facing, pal? Oh, you're facing right at me. That's fine. I don't have the, um, I don't have the ax equipped. So heck me, I guess. Uh, maybe I can burn your hat. The hat does not burn. I don't know how I'm meant to. Uh, I might just have to run away from you, mate. Might just have to run away. You can't jump, can you? I don't know how you're meant to kill them without having the axe. Okay, so actually nothing to see here. Or I actually have already been up here. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he can jump! Oh, good for you, mate. Good for you. Can he grab- Oh, God! Okay, yes, fine. Fine, I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Okay. Oh. Right, we're fine, we're safe. I mean, a little dangerous going up that way, but a lot quicker. And here was where we got. <laughs> There's some mean guys here. So I'm just gonna rush into the room. Or sneak into the room. I could sneak. I could rush. <laughs> Um, so this is where we got, and there wasn't really anywhere to go from here. Oh, there was a guy there! He is now gone. So that is interesting. There's a guy sitting here praying. And he has left... A thing! Alright! So this only opens up after you kill Genichiro, that makes sense. A bell! Not the demon bell, though. Forgot if there's a significance of the bell. Please don't be a boss. <laughs> Teleports to like Lord Walnir fight in Dark Souls 3.
I actually did teleport. Wow, I was game. I was joking. I was joking. Um, is this another memory? Monkeys? The third one is me. The fourth one, sorry. It's got clothes and glasses! I... <laughs> and a purple arse. Okay, elusive hall bell. A five-pronged bell made of aged bronze. Can be used repeatedly. When rung, monkeys and wolves alike are returned to the initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape whether the bell is rung or not. A monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape. So there's a fourth monkey who is not pictured here. So the first one on the left we have found. Whoa! Oh, it is a boss fight! Oh, get out! I oh my god, this game! Do you know what? Why am I even surprised? Because it's a From Software game. <laughs> I can just predict it. Right, okay. Uh, so, we have to find the monkey that is not the one on the folding screen. I, I don't know, kill it and ring the bell? When rung, monkeys and wolves alike have returned to their initial states. So what happens if we just ring it? It just takes us back. We've got a guy up there with a pot. Okay, ringing it did nothing. I, did, I don't seem to be able to escape. Right, let's explorer I guess. <laughs> Nothing really seems to be coming at me. <laughs> Just that um that boss health bar at the top is kind of scaring me. This is this is truly unique and very interesting. So what do we have a monkey down there? Probably. I keep hearing wee footsteps. <gasps> Is it you? Is it you? Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you a monkey? Oh, I have to like find them all and kill them all. Okay. So there's another one over there. Um, maybe I can do this all stealthily. This is so strange. The weird grunts and footsteps are kind of like putting me off. Let's go in here. I don't see anything. It's kind of like the footsteps make it sound like they're following me, but like they're stalking me. Folding screen monkeys, huh? There's some, something over there lit up a second ago. Is it just grapple points? Is that a bell? Is that another demon bell? Huh? <laughs> deafening bell. This bell is deafening. Ringing it recklessly will also make your ears ring. What does this do then? Probably annoys the monkeys. I can't actually see any of them though. Just hear them. They're little grunts. 
So I guess we ring it? Because we killed the first one and then I guess we ring the bell? It said ringing it over and over again makes your ears hurt, but let's just ring it once. Anything? No? Oh, what's this? What's this, footprints? Hello? Were they always there? They're like monkey footprints as well. Uh... Is this the bed of chaos? Literally the gimmick fight. This is, this is so the gimmick fight. I was wondering if there would be a gimmick fight. Oh, oh, oh. Where is it? Oh, there you are. Okay, got another one. <laughs> this is so strange. I love it. I love it. <laughs> right, not just. Oh, hello. Not just sure what the what the bell does precisely, but um, we found another monkey. I see another yellow. Oh, hello. Oh, that didn't count as one of the folding screen monkeys. But we may as well get them down. Stupid monkey. Um, but there was something down here because it came up with a yellow triangle. Also, there's something up there. Hello? Oh, okay, pink, right. Are you gonna wreck me? Oh, wow, what? It just disappears? A bare flame in the wind. When it goes out, the place becomes dark as night. Uh, it's pretty windy. What, is that gonna blow out the candles? Okay, so now it's really dark. Now the monkey has nowhere to hide. I... I don't know. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh! Ah, you cheeky monkey! Get back here, you. Oh, I've lost it. Are you kidding me? Haha, <laughs> you kidding me? Let's see what this does again then. It just shows up some footprints. Oh! Oh, I see you! Oh no, you coward! You coward! Back in there, are you? You going back in there? Aha! So he couldn't see me. Got him! Okay, another one down. Um, oof, super dark. Super dark, so there's only gotta be like one or two left. Uh, abyss hall, below is an abyss, the bottom can't be seen. Above is darkness, nothing can be seen. Nope. Ledge hang, huh? <laughs> Uh, don't really want to go in there. Down there, I should say. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. This is creepy. <gasps> hmm. 
Monkeys? Still don't know the, 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 blah, 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 blah. Still don't know the significance of the yellow footprints. I don't know if they're my footprints. There's definitely something about this though. Hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be the last one's gotta be in that room. There's no note on this side. Hmm. I didn't go in here, did I? And then you have the bell if you want to reset it. Why would I want to reset it after doing all this? It's literally like my ghost. <laughs> Get up here! It was him falling on that book was what got it for me. And obviously you can hear him walking behind you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That was, that was something that, wasn't it? The last one's invisible, that's why we... Mm. So is this the... Ah, oh, they were on about, right, so the monks, I believe, someone was on about a little ghetto. I could be getting confused between the guys in the hidden forest and the guys here. Someone was on about a little ghetto and Kuro was on about a, a previous little dragon heritage lord, but he said he's died. So it's definitely a young person's voice, this. Who could it be? Huh. Well. What? Memory? That was a boss? That was a boss. Did you? Okay. Okay. Easiest. Easiest boss in the game. Uh, the metal battery. Bat Professional. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the sculptor's idol and confront memories of battle to permanently increase attack power. The folding screen monkeys guarded the hall of illusions and befriended the divine child of rejuvenation. Mm. And we also got a ninjutsu skill. A uh, ninjutsu technique that manipulates the victim like a puppet. Cost for emblems to use, activated after a backstab death blow. This technique temporarily forces one who should have fled this realm to remain. A puppet moves on behalf of its master, but its strings are destined to snap. <gasps> we get to make little, little um, substitutes? Oh, you betcha we're playing with that in the next episode. Holy boss, ooh, progress. What an episode, how was that? How is that for an hour and a bit? Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in part 17 when we're gonna try out our new stuff. Uh, also, we're gonna keep progressing in the story. Thank you so much for watching so far. You're amazing. You're awesome. I'll see you in a couple of days with the next one. Have an awesome time, guys. See you later. Bye, 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 bye.